Hello and welcome to Small Game Adventures. I am Brutal and this is Magicka 2 Chapter 5, Episode 6 of our Bananas Walkthrough with hopefully all the unlocks, so that'd be good, wouldn't it? Now the first unlock, the uh, first achievement, I guess, that you can get um, from this chapter is by going through all of it without using any magics. Now I suggest doing this in normal mode or even with your own custom perks, you know, make yourself inv invincible and just walk through. Um, it's pretty easy to do. I'm not going to do it again. Um, it's just needlessly difficult and it's going to slow me down a whole bunch because I love using haste and teleport. So that's the one thing that I'm not going to do for you guys. I sorry, I love you, but you know, I don't love you that much. <laughs> the other thing that I've started using now is this steam poison electric beam because I realized that that's uh, even more of a power than the steam electric beam used to be in, uh, in Magicka 1. Because why would you not use the extra damage? And in bananas mode, obviously our enemies actually heal over time, so why would we not stop them doing that by uh, adding poison to our attacks? That was my logic, and I like it, so uh, you can like it too. Um, it's very damaging, and it's very, very cool. Again, guys, um, this one unfortunately wasn't given to me by someone else, but if you do have any kind of cool um, magics or abilities or spells that you like to use, obviously I've done a guide on all the different ones that you can use, but that doesn't mean I've actually thought about them all that much. I just kind of went empirically through and said that this was what you can use. So there's a bunch of extra ones. So even even like this could probably, if you did like a poison thing, that would do more damage, but that's just awkward to cast. Um, now, I, th <sighs> I feel like putting out all the fires in this level is an achievement, but I can't remember what the achievement is or what it's for, and it might not be. <laughs> it might just be me being strange, because um, that happens a lot. So try putting out all the fires and see what happens. I don't know. Normally when you put out a fire, there's a bunch of torches around. It pointed out to me that uh, there are the torches in chapter 4 that I didn't mention. Um, the reason is because they're not equippable. So, uh, so you can equip them in the game, but that you don't unlock them to equip later on. Speaking of which, if we head up here, we can talk to John Frost. We can get that Summer is Fleeting achievement, or part of it, um, up here. And we can pick up the Goblet of Inebriation, which is, again, you cannot... It's not unlocked. You can't equip it before you start the game, but you can equip it in the game. So um, that's kind of fun. You can do that... Um, if you'd like, it's not particularly useful to equip, but, you know, each to his own. If you would like that, you can. It isn't unlock, however. Um, so you don't, you're don't you not unlocking the weapon, you're unlocking, um, like, one of your little unlocks at the end of the game. It says, you, you know, 11 out of 12. That might be the unlock that you're missing. So definitely go and pick it up, at least. Identify it. Um, but probably don't use it, because it's not terribly useful. Which is alright. We're going to use this, uh, this whole AoE thing going on with this awesome beam to kill everything up here. There's going to be some guys across the... Uh, what am I doing? Guys across the gorge we're going to kill. Goblin Hood. <laughs> oh, the reference game is so strong. It's a reference to Robin Hood, guys. Because it's Goblin Hood. <laughs> now, if you push this stone out of the way... <laughs> cool boulder. Um, development... There you go. Click on the little the post-it there. Um, it's one of the development jokes, which is part of one of the Steam achievements. Now, this is a bit obscure, guys, but it is a pretty cool staff, so if we, uh, we unlock that, there's not a battle here, l luckily. I was really scared the first time I came in here. We're going to stand right in the middle. We've got to light all of these on fire, so you could run around like a plebeian and actually light them all on fire, or you could use a whole bunch of electricity and a whole bunch of fire to do it for you. What? Now I look like an idiot, don't I? That's all right. Once we've done that, we open up this and we get the duck staff, which looks hilariously stupid, but it's actually the equivalent of the Helvati staff. Um, massive bonuses to cold, water, and steam spells, um, but weakens your fire and lightning. So uh, it's not quite as good as the Helvati staff, but if you're one of those people that likes using cold damage, then that is definitely the staff for you. It's a very, very handy little staff to pick up. Oh, we're going to run up here quickly. We're going to be really naughty and chuck one of those in. <laughs> Not that it actually matters because he doesn't actually start taking damage for a while until he does his little speech thing, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to run around a little bit. We end up getting an enemy coming in from the uh, the right hand side over here, which distracts them all, which is kind of fun. Uh, and if you don't have to fight things, then why would you bother? So this guy's on my team. I don't think he's actually on my team, but he's kind of on my team. He's going to kill them all for me, which is always nice. And while he's doing that, I'm going to run over here. There you go, this guy. Just because I can. And then take out Olog, and I'm just going to do it with a massive ass beam, because why would I not? Massive ass beams are cool, yo. Again, keeping my shield up like I always do. I'm going to take out this little shaman because I don't like him. He looked at me funny. 
Whee! Notice how my rock shield takes that blow to the face? It's not a problem. It is honestly not an issue. Let's, let's focus on Oleg. Oh, look, look, look at this guy. Look at this, look how well he's placed. Oh, come on, Firebeam! Come on, Firebeam! Yes! I'm getting a little bit excited, aren't I, guys? Come on, Moodle. Don't get quite that excited. Oh, look how easy he is to kill because he's so slow and doesn't take much to kill. Oh, look at him go. He's trying so hard. That's alright. Honestly, kill everything around him and then just take him out. <laughs> There's no problem there. Uh, uh, that's this area completed. There's nothing in the waterfall. I was really disappointed, actually, that there was nothing in the waterfall. I thought that was a big mistake on Paradox's uh, the developer's, the developer's part. It's, uh, it's a standard video game rule that there's always something in the waterfall. Uh, and they failed me. So, uh, you know, I might have to stop playing Magicka 2 after that. It's disappointing, you know? You cannot hide behind your shield, for I am death. I am fury. Alright, we're going to activate this fight up here. They're going to fight each other again. So we're going to kill these guys while we're waiting. Because why not? <laughs> uh, and yeah, just let them fight each other, because we don't need to fight. Like, it's bananas mode, yeah, sure, but they're all just as OP as each other, so... Look at them all go. It's great. They can all kill each other, I don't care. La -da 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 -da. Maybe I'll help them. be nice of me, wouldn't it? Those guys that do that roar thing, especially if they've got a shield, kill them while they're roaring. Um, ooh, and some little hacks up here. <laughs> I screwed up. What is that? What's the combination for that? Fire, fire, arcane... Lightning. On the head. Chuck that down, and it kills them all. It's great. There's a bunch of guys that come behind him, and they're all just going to die from it, which is amazing. Um, notice I'm not using that uh, that rock variation at the moment, just because they don't do as much as those Minotaur guys do. Um, it's not necessary to use the uh, the rock. It's so much more damage with the electricity. But watch out when you're walking in the water with electric attacks, because you're going to die. So I'm using this uh, this water shield just so that I can actually walk on water. I'm walking on water. Whoa. Um, and still use my electrical attacks. Which is a problem because my natural reaction nowadays is to a... Uh, oh, yes, little blowy up dude. Come on. Come on, blowy up dude. Come on, blowy up dude. No. Where's the blowy up dude? Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come at me. Alright. Water shield. Oh, go away! This guy's annoying me. I'm gonna keep on using this, uh, this Thunderhead because it's amazing. Actually, no, I probably shouldn't. I should probably just kill them all, shouldn't I? Do it fast. Get it over and done with. Um, Frost Beam's gonna work really well on this guy. Because I can walk in here and do this. How? Oh, yeah. So if you're wearing a water shield, guys, you actually don't. Like, the fire doesn't get put out when you walk into the water, because you're protected from the water. What on earth is going on here? Um, so keep that in mind. So if you're wearing this water shield and you set yourself on fire, you stay on fire, which is unfortunate. So you actually have to either take the water shield off or put a fire shield on or something, which does the same thing. Um, but keep that in mind. I, I, it's something that I managed to forget a lot. Oh, look, another guy who's going to walk at me really, really slowly. And, ah, oh, yes! Boom! Cool. Coolie, coolie. Alrighty, now, unlocks. What are we doing? Unlocks. Uh, there's nothing up here. Talk to the sign. Oh, there is. <laughs> the horseman. Actually, no, this guy here. He's really hard to see. But this is one of our elders. So this is, I think, the final elder. Or there might be one more. One more elder, I think, um, for our wizard veterans. So obviously talk to him first to get that part of it. And then walk away from him and hit him with a beam. Because if you stand close to him, he does AoE attacks, so he'll kill you really easily. Um, so yeah, walk away from him and kill him. It's safer like that. People might call you a coward, but you're a, you know, if you're a coward and you're alive, then that's still kind of cool. Alrighty, one of our horses, another unlock here for Steam, is finding all these horsemen and interacting with them, whatever that means. So this one is actually you just got to kill him, and then read the sign which tells you not to kill him. Um, well done, Paradox. You're very clever, and that was very funny. I laughed a little bit inside. And this battle, guys, is actually hilarious. Check this out. I need some, like, Benny Hill music or something. I'm going to put some of that down. 
But they all kill each other. Like, there's some guys that come in from the sides, and they, they literally just... They start fighting each other. So if you can run around and, like, just avoid getting hit, they... Like, this guy just kills everyone. It's hilarious. I'm beautiful, aren't I? My singing is amazing. There's so many of them, and he just kills them all. And it's, it actually makes me really happy. I don't like the shamans, though, so I'm going to kick them out. They do like those poison beams, and they're just not very nice. Look at them! They're just, they're just slaughtering them. It's hilarious. Choo. And I'm more than happy to let them kill each other. Like, this is not a qualm that I have. I have no problem with this. Oh, we don't want that on. We don't want that on. Go around a bit like this. Oh, we like some blowy uppy guys. What do we do with blowy uppy guys? We wait till there's someone really close to them, and then we blow them up. <laughs> ah, they're popping out of the woodwork. Sound good. Boom. Let me some boom. Alright, now we're gonna kill them all because my uh my friends have all died, which is unfortunate. I don't really want to be frozen, do I? Oh I used electricity when I was not I'm sorry guys, I died, that was stupid. I shouldn't have died. Ridiculous. Um, let's use some fire electric oh, that wasn't it. Let's use some slightly anticlimactic fire electricity. No? Yeah, there we go. It's not very effective, is it? Let's go away. What if we mix it with, like, poison? Oh, that's a bit more fun. Go away. Alright, we should probably kill these normally. Oh, check this out, though. That's ridiculous. Oh, I'm having fun here rather than casting. Like, I'm not doing a tutorial at the moment. I'm just running around and enjoying myself. It's really bad form. But it's so good. I need to take out that shaman, don't I? Because he's being annoying. Get out of my way. Oh, he keeps teleporting away. Come back. Oh, there's two of them. That'll do it. Alrighty. I'll take out the second one now. Uh, come here. That sometimes stuns you out a bit there, guys, so you might have to double your uh, let you heal up if you're trying to fight him. Where'd the shaman go? Ha-ha! <laughs> right. Well, sorry, that took a lot longer and I died, and I shouldn't have died, but it was fun, guys, so, you know, fight me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is all pretty easy. Chapter 5, honestly, is not that difficult. There's a lot of unlocks in it, but as far as gameplay goes, it's it's not a hard one. He says, after dying, by electrocuting himself to death. I died to death. Now, final unlock, um, weapon unlock, is the uh, the toy... Mm, I'm not Swiss or Danish, so I can't pronounce that. Bjav? Bjav. Toy Bjav. Um, strong bonus to cold and ice spells, weakens fire and steam, and greatly, greatly increases focus regeneration. So that's probably better than the duck stuff if you're going for that. Um, but each to his own. That's alright. It's alright, guys. Let's do this. Now, uh, I mean, there's a couple of things in here. I don't think they're actually unlocks. You can. That's Twitter. Lol. Get it? Because 140 characters is used for. Yeah, okay. Cool joke. I'm going to walk in here, skip the cutscene because I don't actually care. And <laughs> this, this fight is hilariously easy, guys. She's again, she's just really slow. They just start using this beam on her. Teleport away when she tries to hit us. <laughs> and run her backwards and forwards for days. Oh, I forgot the steam. Wait. There we go. Put your arcane. Again, Benny Hill music, like, required, I think. Oh, she's going to pull me towards her. No! Check on haste when she's about to do that. So what we're going to do, there is an achievement 
to uh to beat her after activating all of her minions. I keep missing this arcane. Um, after activating all of her minions, so come on then. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it down really low. Oh, please don't die. And then we're gonna teleport into her minions, so she's already really low, and attack them, and then teleport out and try and take and finish her off. Oh damn. Okay, I didn't quite do that as well as I could have. But same same deal, like she's much easier to kill now. And we don't actually need to kill the rest of her her little mates. Um, we just need to kill her. There we go. So that's pretty and they just stop once once she's dead. So get her down really low, activate them, kill her, and you'll get that uh, uh something about playmates or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's the uh, that's the end of chapter five, guys. Thank you for watching. There's a little bit of a cutscene here, which I'll play for you quickly now. I won't. I can't really, I'm going to skip it all. Um, this has been Small Game Adventures. I am Moodle. That was chapter five. Please stay tuned for chapter six, and I'll get it up as soon as possible. And until next time, keep enjoying.